And Namari Burnett joins us now on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline. What's up, Namari? How are you? What's up, man? I'm doing good. How are you guys? Doing great. Thanks a lot. First of all, congrats on the win at Houston. What happened? I mean, you guys are down 15, and it's like a, a switch flipped. What, what was the difference from being down 15 to how you guys finished the game with the win? Uh, first, first off, thank you guys uh, for the congrats on the win. Um, second, um, it was just a all-out team effort, and it started with the second group who went in right after the starters went out um, and, you know, gave up that lead. Um, they came in with a poise and mixed with an aggressiveness to, like, let's get in this game um, and let's, you know, take care of the ball because we had a lot of turnovers in the first half. And um, we just have a mature group of guys, although we have a lot of freshmen and young guys, we're all mature and we're all bought into winning. So it, it paid off and it showed at the end and like throughout that second half as we fought back. I'm interested. You 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 get one of the better scorers in the nation, and that's that's your that's a card you draw. I'm gonna shut him down. I don't care if I score. What's the mentality that goes into that uh when that's your that's your that's your plan, man? That's that's your role. Man, it's it's all about pride. And I, I took pride in that matchup and shutting him down. And I remember what um, you know, the type of game he had on us last year. Although he was inefficient, he was still uh, effective on us last year. And um, what he's just been doing all season and, and all through his career at Houston. And um, he was like, a, he's the a major part, a major focal point of that team. And so we take him out. Um, like you said, I don't care if I score. I just want to win this game. And I know that was a major part of it. You know, I, I know you've got to have a certain skill set to be a great defender. But I've always said, you know, to me, just, just watching from the couch, um, effort and determination are like the biggest keys when it comes to being a great defender. Am I right? Oh, you're hundred percent right. I appreciate that, man. And um, like you said, it's, it's some of the, the major components of being a great defender. And um, I pride myself on giving 110% max effort every single game. Um, every time I step into the floor and take on a matchup like that on defense, it's just about going hard and just having a mindset like he's not going to score on me. And if he does, I'm, I'm upset and I got to do something about it. Alabama's Namari Burnett with us on the JohnstonRVCenter.com. Hotline is the Crimson Tide gets ready to take on Memphis, now number four in the nation. How close attention do you pay to that, where you are ranked and how much love you are getting for the way this team has started? Um, although it's, it feels good to be recognized for um, our success early on, it means nothing. We were at a similar spot last year where we were ranked sixth in the country, um, heading to Memphis and um we, we didn't show up to play and we didn't show up to go hard and take it to them. And so we have a mindset we're not complacent at all. Um, and also payback from last year and every game just finding something to be hungry about. And at the same time, the game itself, we're being hungry in that. So going with a mindset of like, let's go out there um, on our home floor, um, show what we made up, show what we've been doing, you know, so far this season and um, be all about it and continue to improve because it's, it's a lot of areas of improvement that we had from that Houston game that we can um, translate and turn around into this game. Uh, you know, I'm really interested, Dyke. Uh, last year, you know, it started to leak out that maybe it wasn't the closest locker room. It seems like the blend between the veterans and the young guys, the newcomers in this team is really special. Tell me a little bit about uh, the chemistry on this team and why do you think it may be different this year than, say, it was last year? The chemistry is beautiful. The difference I see is everybody is bought into winning no matter what. And um, on top of that, um, guys are like on the same page and there's no clicks. Everybody's is one big family. So it's not like a group here talking there, a group there talking here. It's all of us all into one. And um, I talk to everybody on the team. The next person talks to everybody on the team. And um, that's that's the best teams. And, you know, it's a complete brotherhood. Although many teams say it, I think we're really about it. And um, even when adversity hit us in that Houston game, for example, like we were telling each other in that huddle, um, don't fold. This is the adversity that we talked about that we would hit at some point during this game. And at times we're going to hit during the season. So um, knowing and being locked in into like, okay, we're going to hit adversity and stand together no matter what, that's a big component of this team and I think is going to carry a very far this season. How much has personal adversity helped you uh, when we talk about the knee surgery and where you were last year to where you are right now? Oh, man, it's helped a lot. It's helped a lot mentally. Um, and, you know, mentally you fight a lot of battles. And I feel like that adversity that I hit 
only helped me become stronger, um, stronger mentally and um, ultimately stronger physically. So it's definitely a product of, you know, who I was raised by and uh, myself, you know, and my individual character and uh, going through that adversity and me knowing what I went through and putting it into my teams and, you know, helping my teammates get through similar adversity, whether it's on the floor or off the floor. Namari Burnett, for a few more moments, I heard in your answer a moment ago how much this Memphis game last year has stuck with this team, but Brandon Miller wasn't there, Mark Sears wasn't there. How much have you had to remind to tell those guys how big a disappointment this was for you last year? The great thing about it is Brandon Miller was there. He was actually uh, watching the game <laughs> in the stand. You know, uh, you know he, he's from Nashville, Tennessee, so – um, you know, he he saw it in firsthand and he saw how Memphis was talking a lot of stuff. But on the other hand, the guys that wasn't here, Mark Sears, uh, Noah Clowney, Rylan Griffin, freshmen, newcomers, um, it's just a message like over and over. Like whatever sign of payback you had that you want to get that you didn't get yet, get a chance to get in, whether it's in your life, basketball, whatever it is, think about it in this game and have that same attention to detail that we've been having, we've been having all year, no matter if we're up or we're down. I was one of those geeky kids when I was little that had two Nerf basketball goals at my grandmother's house, and I would play an imaginary game, and I had my own imaginary university. In my schedule, I would stack great team after great team after great team on my schedule. You guys are living that schedule. Michigan State, UConn, North Carolina, South Dakota State, uh, you know, Houston. Now it's Memphis and Gonzaga. As a fan, we love it. As a player, are you ready for a break, or is this fueling you right now? Oh, no, this is what we're all made of. This is what, why we started practices early in the mornings, all through the summer, all through the fall. Like, this is what we prepare for. And this is what I'm also made of. I've always dreamed, like, when I was in high school, playing um, the North Carolina, the Blue Bloods of the world, and the biggest college atmosphere games ever. And um, um, when you think about Division One high major college basketball, this is what you're thinking about. So uh, I'm glad that um, Nate Oates and staff put together this great schedule. I wouldn't call it tough. I would call it great. Um, it keeps us battle tested and um, definitely have a good mindset going into SEC play and just being ready for anything that's thrown at us. Alabama, Memphis tonight, ESPN2, 8 o'clock, Coleman Coliseum. Go there. If you can't go there, watch it on ESPN2. Namari Burnett on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline. Good luck tonight. Thank you so much for the time. Great talking with you. Thank you. Likewise. Thank you for having me.